hunter's chicken, it means in French. I have to look that up. Um, but, you know, all you do is you take a chicken. Now, this is, this is a sort of um, supreme of chicken, which means you get the wing and the skin and the breast on it. Now, butchers will do that. If you can't get one, use a breast or even better thighs. Oh, right, So okay. you get all the lovely flavour. But all we're doing here is a little bit of oil. We're just browning it because you want all that oh, nice look skin. At that. So once you get that nice brown, crisp skin, all you have to do. Turn it over. I'll put this here. I love cooking. It's all done so well. <laughs> put it into the oven 180, and that goes in for about 12 minutes. Oh, right. That sits there, so that's easy. Oh, I mean, and again, it sounds very posh, but it's not difficult at all. No, it sounds good. Now, this is the sauce bit. Start with butter. Mm. All good things start with butter, right. not all this clean eating rubbish. You know, healthy eating, yes, be balanced, but butter, shallots, garlic, until it's all nice and soft. Tomatoes. Yeah. In they go there. Lovely. Is your heat on? The heat is on. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, That's the other one. Help I get the right one. There you That's go. That's the one. Done. Beautiful. Well done. Okay, so that's how actually cooking. Um, a bit of sugar in there just to take any sharpness away. Yeah. And all you're going to do is cook this down for five minutes. So, again, really simple, cheap ingredients here. Yeah. Cooking down, cooking down. I've never made a chicken, Chester. Well, I know. It's, 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 oh, yeah. it's bad reputation stuff. But when you see the end result, it's it yummy. You said it at school. Well, that's going to kill it straight it out, like, unless, yeah. unless it was a cookery school. No, but, no. But, um, <laughs> I didn't attend that. <laughs> um, okay, a little bit of salt and pepper, white wine. In it goes and sizzle it off so all that booze burns off. Um, and again, the recipes, you know, in the book, there's some really great recipes. They're not done by me, they're done by proper chefs. You know, I'm a home cook who puts it all together. These are done by the, the great and talented and wonderful chefs who are far more great and talented and wonderful than oh, me. Anyway, that's that. all burning well, down. Chicken is the Parker Bowl staple in the family. Well, it is. <laughs> it is. My you wife... said before, you, your wife is very good at it, your mum is very good at it. Well, I know, my wife chicken. said, just, you know, please don't talk about your mum's roast chicken. And sure enough, oh, here but it's a very good roast nice. chicken. She said it in a, in a nice way. Um, chicken stock, yep. like that. So, so you have all these flavours, and now with the chicken stock, you can make your own chicken stock, which is wonderful. With these strong flavours like this, you can use a good stock hoop. Right, you know, okay. Don't get too precious about it. This is about a quick uh, Monday night dinner. Right, okay. Uh, uh, rather than sort of oak cuisine and all the rest of it. Anyway, that's going to bubble... Is this meant to come to the boil? That's going to come to the boil, and it's going to reduce down to half. So it gets a, a little bit nice and sticky. Okay. Then you get a stick blender, whiz it all up. Oh. Oh. And thanks to the beauty of this morning, we now and have, have this sauce here, which is a really, really sort of deeply flavoured, oh, delicious, delicious sauce. So we're, all we're going to do is get the heat on there. And I'm just going to get the wrong We're going to put up some supermarket deals for you, if you fancy making this. We get mushrooms, just classic buttered mushrooms, nothing too um, fancy. fancy. Again, just cut coarsely. These are all things you can get from the supermarket. Despite yeah. being this great and glorious 300-year-old store, these recipes, anyone can do. Yeah. You know, maximum, maximum flavour. OK, so, so give in, that little stir. And is that, the bit, is that the sauce? Is that it? That is your sauce. Reduce right down. It's a classic French recipe. A little bit here See, of tarragon. much more simple than you think, aren't they, mm. these things? Yeah, always. You know, and if I can do it, I will say, if I can do it, anyone can do okay, it. OK, so then that's the tarragon. That's the tarragon. Beautiful. And then the last bit more is a little bit of butter in there, classic French technique, Monteau Beurre, they call it, just to get a nice bit of gloss into this sauce here. And it gives it a nice sort of professional really buttery. Good. Butter, butter, butter. Again, butter, you know, balance. Don't, don't ignore all these great fats. Fat is flavour, fat is good for you, just not living on not fat. Not too much, all. Yeah, yeah. So, OK, so there's your sauce there. So that's it, and that just cooks down until it gets nice and just glossy. Just those mushrooms off a little bit. Exactly. Now... Go on, We're going to go on to the mashed potato. Now, this is a special way. This, this is the Fortnum and Mason way of making mashed potato. You bake a potato, bake a floury potato, oh. because it gets much fluff. You get a much fluffier mash from it. So you bake it and just scoop out. There's cream oh. and butter. It doesn't want too much so skin. just take the skin Now, the skins... Off. Deep fry, eat, stuff, do whatever. I love potato skin, but Me all we're too. doing is chucking that in. And you know what I'm doing? I completely feel I'm so excited about being here that I should be putting it through. Oh, I've got a potato ricer. A potato ricer, oh, yes, the of best course. Invention now, known to mankind. The, this makes the best mashed potato. It's like a garlic time. press for potatoes. And you can, you can do yeah. it through a sieve, you can do it with a grater, but this just takes all the hassle away. And you just push it through. Look at that. Worms. It rains. Potato. And that makes you such a smooth... And you're putting cream in there. Cream because, you know, My do milk goodness. if you want, but cream just adds, right? It's cream. Very naughty. And there's is, butter in there already. There's butter in there, butter, cream. And look at that, it's a really, oh my gosh, really... like restaurant mashed potato. Exactly. It's like... It's oh, you hate that noise. He can't oh. do metal on metal. 
Oh, is it? It doesn't like the. Go right, don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> right, okay. Do carry on. <laughs> I'm now. Okay, so He's the mashed potato goes in, and it's because it's been. Oh, it's so like restaurant uh, mashed potato. It's and, got that you know, butter, shine. butter, cream, never ever margarine. Um, that is the devil stuff. Okay, <laughs> and that goes there. That's my only my opinion, obviously. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you always say something. I, I, well, I know. No, I'm not. I'm not going to move into things I've said in the past. Um, <laughs> and that goes on top there. You see, and nice and chunky. But again, you can see it's just really that simply. That looks so ingredients. delicious. And a bit more in there. And then. Well, can we dive in? Of course. Diving in. Diving in. Absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm going for some mash, and I want some of that sauce. On, but the key is, you know, this, we're moving towards winter. Big flavours, but nothing too difficult. Amazing. <laughs> That's really the gorgeous. It, the tarragon does it, lifts it up a bit. Yeah. Absolutely um, stunning. Thank you love. very Thank much you. indeed.